I'm the morning political panel as well in this hour here on 96.1 FM. Come on in, folks. Come on in. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. I just met some people downtown when I was walking back from Hunters. And All right, Laura, thanks very much. And yes, the CBC Searchlight Contest is on. 43 Prince Edward Islanders have submitted tunes to this contest. The first round of voting ends on Sunday, so get your votes in soon. And we have some very special guests with us here this morning who know just what kind of an impact that contest can have. It can even inspire a musical career. In the last year since Searchlight, the, the inaugural year for Searchlight last year, sisters Amy and Rachel Beck have been busy recording and touring. They have a series of shows over the next couple of days and, well, the next couple of months. And we are thrilled that they could join us here at Beans in Charlottetown this morning. Good morning, Amy and Rachel. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for having us. What do you us. think, folks? <laughs> Great to have Amy and Rachel here. They're going to perform for us in just a moment. And it's hard to believe it's been one year since that inaugural CBC Searchlight, just a whirlwind for you. What did that mean to you both and to your career, Rachel? Well, you know, it's amazing because last year at ECMW, we were there in Halifax as fans. We tried to get into the CBC show where they were announcing the finalists and it was full. So we heard the news as we were driving around downtown Halifax. And uh, since then, yeah, it has been crazy. but. You know, the competition was amazing, and CBC has been a huge support, but really the biggest impact it had was just motivating us and letting us go, maybe we can actually do this, you know? We sort of weren't really pursuing a musical career, and now we're just going for it. Yeah, so, talk yeah. about a pat on the back, eh? And, and what have been the highlights of the last year for you? Oh, gosh. Um, definitely sing with Serena Ryder at Big Red Fest was huge. Um, recording and releasing our self-titled debut, um, which was nominated Music PEI, Roots Contemporary Recording of the Year. That was amazing. And uh, yeah, just getting to showcase this weekend is a huge accomplishment for us. We're really excited. Well, tell us about your weekend. Where can people see you? Um, well, last night we were on the breakout stage at The Rod. And this evening we're doing Radio ECMA at 7 in the Delta Lounge. Tomorrow evening we're doing the Music PEI Roots Room at, well, our set's at 10 o'clock, but the show starts at 8. It's a great lineup. Um, and we're also doing 7 to 8 o'clock at Next Door Lounge tomorrow evening. Probably forgetting something, but anyway, <laughs> our website is a great place to go for information. Yeah, yeah shows just have a way of uh, spontaneously combusting sometimes during yes, East Coast yeah. Music Weekend. And, uh, you know, you've also been part of a tour looking, uh, you know, away from East oh, Coast yeah, Music Weekend. Gone. You've been on a, a maritime tour. The first leg is completed, right? Yes, yeah, we've already done uh, Halifax and Charlottetown and St. John. And this month we're heading to Sydney, and then we're really excited about wrapping up at Trailside Cafe yeah. in Mount Stewart, and that's on May 10th, so... And the Stan Rogers Folk Fest yes. you're going to be part of this summer. How yes. did that opportunity come about? Well, you know, it was another one of those competitions where people could get behind us and vote. And um, we submitted a video, and they selected the top ten videos. I think we ended up in third or fourth. So, yeah, we're going to get to do a slot, possibly on main stage there, in between some of the headliners. So, With all of this exposure... How is this going to help you down the road, just to keep get the word out about Amy and Rachel, right? Oh, it's just great. You know, every show we play, every industry person we meet, it just helps us build connections and build fans and, you know, just keep going. So we're kind of just taking it one show at a time and seeing what happens. And you have jobs and families, too. How tough has it been to balance <laughs> all of that with the, the new musical career? Yeah, well, uh, I have two little guys. They're three and 17 months now. Wow. Um, but my husband, obviously, is an amazing supporter, and our parents and nieces, and, you know, everyone comes in and help, and Amy has a really supportive partner, too. And, um, and uh, yeah, we're both teachers, but it actually works out fairly well in terms of our summers, you know, we're more flexible with touring. and But Amy's heading out to work right after the show, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to handle the business meetings, and she's going to go teach for the day, so... And with a 17-month-old, you're no stranger to early mornings, but we do yeah. appreciate you being here, <laughs> performing for us before 7.30. What song are we going to hear from you, uh, Rachel? We're going to do Kuda Shuda Wuda, and actually, uh, it's got four vocal parts, and there are only two of us here, so don't be alarmed. It's just we're using a loop pedal, but oh, it's cool. all about taking chances, so we thought it kind of fit. All right. Yeah. Amy and Rachel Beck, we're live at Beans in downtown Charlottetown. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. 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 Coulda, sh
coulda, shoulda, woulda, it's just no good anymore. I've done a lot of waiting in my life. Sat back and watched the scenery rushing by when I coulda, shoulda, woulda, yes, always said no. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, it's just no good anymore. Oh, 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 Coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, it's just no good anymore. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, it's just no good. It's my time. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, it's my Coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda, it's just no good anymore. Oh, 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 love it. Amy and Rachel Beck. No coulda, shoulda, woulda there. You did it. Thank you very much. Amy and Rachel. We're going to get Amy and Rachel to stick around. Another song from them coming up in our next half hour. It is coming up to 21 minutes now, past 7 o'clock. We're going to head up the road to Bubba's with Mitch Cormier at the 150-hour jam in just a moment. Actually, a breakup song for a drama. It's called Goodbye Drama. So, I think it works pretty well. Hello, drama, dear old friend. Why don't you go take a flight to some?
Rachel and Amy Beck. Goodbye, drama. Full show tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, the PEI uh, Music Roots Room. Of course, on the road, Sydney. Got a show at the Trailside Cafe coming up in May as well, and the Stan Rogers Fest later this summer. Thanks so much, Amy Thank and Rachel. Thank you so much for Really us. appreciate Amy and Rachel Beck being with us uh, live at Beans this morning. And as we've been talking about with Amy and Rachel, they were national finalists. In the legend that, that talks about how the island was created, the Mi'kmaq say that the, the great spirit Glooskap, after he had created all the world, took all the beautiful, most beautiful colors in the world and, and mixed them together, and then he, he dipped his, his brush or his finger in, and, and he painted Prince Edward Island into existence. And I think that's such a, an amazing legend. I, I love that, that, that story. It's so beautiful. And apparently, uh, Glooskap always saw Nova Scotia as his bed and Prince Edward Island as his pillow. And so it was here that he would, he would lay his head and, and release his dreams in, into the world. And, 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 and I like to think maybe that's why we have so many amazing songwriters and novelists and, and artists of all sorts here on Prince of Rhode Island. Maybe we're channeling some of those dreams. And, and uh, so this is, uh, this is Abigail. <clears throat> Glooskap, from the people of the dawn, this name was given to you, so tender and so strong. Born of storm and fury, from an ocean cold and deep, came an island where the great spirit would lay his head to sleep. Abergwent, cradled on the waves, gently rock me home tonight. I'll forever stay Abergwet Sing to me your song When I hear your lullaby I know where I belong Over dunes that line the shoreline Through the black spruce on the cliffs Down in the furrowed of red, your melody will drift. Then rise up on the eagle's wings, dive into the sea, to the rhythm of survival and the life you gave to me. In the Strasbe at the Cayley, the Acadian Copeland, all the heartache of the journey, safe arrival in the dance, all the birds' song in the morning, all the boats head out to sea. I can hear the elders calling out the name you are to me. Abergwet, cradled on the waves, gently rock me home tonight, I'll forever stay. Abergwet, sing to me your song when I hear your lullaby. I know where I belong. His name was given to you, now you know where you belong. Abergwet. 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 
Thank you. The incredible Lenny Galant. Abigwit. Lenny show this summer searching for Abigwit, the songs and stories of Lenny Galant. You don't often get a coffee house performance from Lenny Galant. You certainly don't usually get one before 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> so Lenny, thank you for that.